Hello everybody, it's Pack Dude here. We're back for some more Let's Play Trauma Center Second Opinion. Last time we left off, we did some operations. We unfortunately got um We got uh interrogated by the big boss and Angie kinda ratted us out for um uh turning our back on a patient. But now it's time for life or death. Uh oh. I was right. Then there's no time to lose. Where are the accident victims, Angie? D Dr. Stiles! The patient, he was suffering cardiac arrest and... and I couldn't res <laughs> resuscitate him. The other nurses are busy and... With Dr. Castle gone, I can't... What am I supposed to do? The patient's gonna die, but... I can't... I can't even... Calm down, Angie. Take me to the OR. Uh, okay. Patients suffered cardiac arrest as a result of a car accident. Multiple lacerations of the epithelium and problems in the abdomen. What's the situation? The ambulance brought him here as soon as they could. His heart isn't beating. I tried to revive him, but... Angie. W what do I do? I need help. I... I... Angie! Dr. Stiles? The only person here who needs help is the patient, and we're the ones who are going to help him. It's up to us, and only us, and we're going to save him. I can't do this without you, Angie. I want to save his life. Pretend this is a normal procedure. Calm down, think things through. First, we need a pulse. We have to get a pulse. Understood. I will save this patient. Ooh. See the lacerations. It's flatlining. We have to do something. We need to recover his pulse. Defibrillator. First, and move the paddles towards the patient and place them on his chest. Hold the paddles in position. Keep an eye on the meter. Do you see the green area on the voltage gauge? Activate the shock when the meter reaches that area on the gauge. The closer to the reading you get, the more effective the shock will be. All right, let's see. All right, blah 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 blah. blah. Yes, I understand. Fuck. You. Okay, come on. There we go. There we go. Th there's a pulse. We did it. <sighs> Vitals are still below 30. He's not in the clear yet. That sounds more like the Angie I know. Dr. Styles, are we gonna save him? Of course we are. Understood. First, we need to take care of those lacerations. External wounds have been healed. Bleeding seems to be stopped, but his vitals are dropping fast. He suffered a lot of damage to his chest. What else could it be? Could it be? Perform a lobectomy. I think there might be something in his chest. But first, all right, let's put his vitals up. Ah, I can't get it up above 30. All right, come on. All right, let's go. Fuck. Uh, okay, there we go. Holy glass! No, they can't. Don't take this the wrong way. I don't think you have to seal the treaty like this. We recovered his pulse, so maybe we should wait for Dr. Castle's help. No, the longer we wait, the lower his chances of survival. I don't know what to do. Either way, I won't blame you. This is your decision. I believe in you. Alright, we have to be careful. Continue treatment. Suffering cardiac arrest. We have to revive him. Oh, nice. First try. We have a pulse. What? What? what is that? Holy glass. Please extract it. Okay. Ah, we have to stitch it. There we go. I think he's going to make it. What? This can't be happening. God damn it. This is bad. Damn it. Don't die on me. We have to suture this wound. What? He sutured the my myocardium in a split second. I, I think we're finished. Let's close him up. I can heal. I can feel him slipping away. I was so scared, Doctor. I froze, and all I could think about was running away. But you didn't worry at all. You stood your ground and did what had to be done. You, 
You are a real doctor. Thank you, Dr. Styles. Aw, there's a smile. Operation successful. Now that was a success. I still gotta see- Aww. I never felt that way before. I think I'm starting to understand. His condition stabilized for now. Let's keep an eye on him. Yes, doctor. We need to contact the other doctors and- I'm way ahead of you. Most of the off-duty staff have agreed to come in. I also called Dr. Castle. Good work. Thank you. You should get some rest. We were in surgery for a long time. Yeah, if it's okay with you, I think I'll do that. Angie. Yes? Everything you said this morning was true. But I'm going to stay here as a doctor. I'm going to try harder. I'll become a better surgeon and make you proud. If that's the case, stop coming to work late and don't leave without doing your paperwork. I'll do my best. And there's one thing. Huh? Please try to be more presentable. I shouldn't have to worry about being embarrassed to work with you. Heh. <laughs> I'll be more careful. <sighs> I'm thinking of taking a nap. Wake me up if anything changes. I understand. Have a good rest. Dr. Styles. Dormant ability. And that'll be the start of chapter two. Oh, okay. From overseas. Oh, chapter Z. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do that voice crack. Dr. Francis Hospital. Z1 from overseas. Dr. Francis Hospital Conference Room. The patient, Alan Chambers, is suffering a pneumonia fracture in his right arm. He was rushed here as soon as the injury occurred thanks to the nurse who witnessed it. Judged by the x ray, this one could give us some trouble. But I'm sure Dr. Weaver will be able to fix him up good as new. I appreciate the confidence, but you know this is no big deal. I haven't let a patient down yet, haven't I? Nozomi Weaver, age 29, a Japanese surgeon who came to America on an exchange program. Since traveling from her original hospital in Okinawa, she's getting quite a reputation. Alan Chambers, isn't he a famous screenwriter? Think it's the same guy? It was certainly explained the media circus gathering outside. Hey, maybe they'll want to interview us. Or Dr. Weaver, anyway. She's probably the most uh, photogenic doctor here. I definitely don't need that kind of attention. If you're looking for a press conference, the head surgeon is welcome to take my place. You're too modest, Dr. Weaver. She's really put our hospital on the map, though. We have co um, patients coming from all over. I'd say that exchange program was the best thing to have at St. Francis. I'm surprised your hospital was willing to let you go, doctor. You're giving me too much credit. I haven't been here for a full year. We're getting a little sidetracked, I think. Let's proceed with the operation. Good luck, Dr. Weaver. Now, I just need to avoid unnecessary media attention. I still can't believe they want me operating out in a time like this. They didn't, let their lesson, didn't they learn the lesson in Okinawa? Communi uh, communed fracture in patient's radiant bone. There's also seen to be eternal hemorrhaging, treat bleeding, then rebuild the broken bone. Let's see, time of dictation, 3.48 p.m. The patient's name is Alan Chambers. He has a serious fracture in his arm. As for the x-ray results, fragments of the bone seem to be scattered, and I see hemorrhaging. That said, I will be approaching this operation with three objectives. Collect fragments of his radius and ulna, set the radius properly for healing. Return the fragments to their original position, and rebuild the patient's radius and ulna. I anticipate a smooth procedure. I'm starting the operation. It's time to begin. Let's do this. Let's begin. Good. All right. Finally, a good incision at the start. Hmm. Mm, let's go ahead and drain. Bleeding still minor enough to cure with the antibiotic gel. Careful now. Wait, what the crap? There we go. Next, leave it to there we me. go. Let's collect the fragments. Okay, now I'll return these fragments to their original position in order to rebuild his arm. Looks like his ulna is twisted in the wrong direction. I'll use my forces to move it back in place. Okay, with that out of the way, I should be able to move the bone fragments where they belong. Might need to rotate the. Ooh, that's not Dang it. Right. Uh, let's see. Uh. Here. I see. Okay. Uh, here. Nope. Uh, 
right here. There we go. Uh, uh right here. Then right here. Then right here. Something isn't right. I thought I found all the fragments, but the radius still isn't connecting properly. There's probably still a fragment I haven't found yet. If I used the ultrasound, I should be able to find it. There it is. Aha! Here's where you were hiding. Wait, crap. Huh. Get it, get, get it, dude. Oh, there we go. That seems to be all of them. I should apply all the antibiotic gel to make sure the area is healing properly. The radius bone has been formed. I anticipate a quick recovery. Oh, I was about to say, <laughs> now what? <laughs> what do I do? Now I'll be suturing my uh, incision. Alright, let's go. Boom, shakalaka. There you go. And boom! Operation complete. Operation complete. I'm still a sea doctor. St. Francis Hospital, conference room. Another amazing operation, Dr. Weaver. I think we all learned a, two, a thing or two of you. <laughs> well then, if you'll excuse me. See you tomorrow. Interesting. I always thought American doctors were more concerned about their about golf than their patients. But everyone here is so kind. They accepted me as one of their own immediately. Only because they don't know the truth. Hmm? A phone call? Oh, it's them. This is Weaver. A procedure on Sunday? It's kind of sudden, don't you think? Uh, not that I can refuse or anything. Yeah, I'll be there. Okay, that was like a little side mission. That was cool. Alright, let's start chapter 2 with Dormant Ability. Aw, oh, sad music? Why? The Healing Touch. Dormant Ability. What the heck happened during that last operation? It was like I felt time was slowing down. Am I losing it? I know exactly what needed to be done, but I'm not sure how I knew that. Ugh. Now I'm just talking in circles. I had to sit down and figure. Derek, pay attention. Huh? Oh, oh. oh. <clears throat> uh, I mean, I was. Uh, stop daydreaming and start taking your job seriously. I'm, I'm sorry. We need to have a meeting about Mr. Pratt's operation. Angie, can you handle prep for that? Yes, of course. Multiple thrombi present due to waste plot. Blah, 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 blah. All right, multiple thrombi present due to waste blockage. Immediate removal is required to prevent further complications. Let's go over the procedure for Mr. Pratt's operation. You've been suffering from dizziness and nausea recently. Tests show that waste accumulated to a spleen and are now blocking blood vessels there. Today's objective is to remove the buildup of the thrombi. The contract medium and administrated 30 minutes ago in the IV. Because of that, you should be able to find the waste material using ultrasound. Once it shows a shadow, try clipping near that area with the forceps. It should stop moving. Make your incision to drain the area. This is a sensitive operation, so you need to make sure proper use of magnification. Remember, the objective is remove all the thrombi in the vessels. That is all. If further waste blockage occurs, the patient's vitals will drop. Remember to stay calm and keep it steady. Let's begin. Let's begin. Let's begin. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> ah, damn it. The contrast medium is working well. We confirmed the problem area. Thrown by causing the vessel blockage are originating here. Alright, use the magnification tool. Magnification successful. We need to use the ultrasound to locate the thrombi. by. Then forceps. Then use to make the incision. Drain, the Drain it. Doctor. Frick. Treatment complete. Frick. Frick. Vitals 
Dropping. Frick. Damn. This is tough, man. Freak, dude. Ah, uh, God. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No. guys I suck at this so bad come on oh jeez okay come on ah uh, never going to be a good doctor that was a good one all right come on god are we done Oh, we killed him! Oh no! Oh. <laughs> Dang it! Oh, we killed him, man! <sighs> yes. All right, blah 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 blah. All right, blah 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 blah. Everybody, 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 everybody. Okay, we got it. Ah. <sighs> I gotta be quick about this, like, good lord. Alright. Let's do this. Doctor. Okay, ultrasound first. Doctor. There. Then forceps. Drain the area. Treatment complete. I was doing it wrong anyway, I had to drain it. Doctor. The change in blood flow is causing the th suspended thrombi to move. This is bad. Okay, freaking, 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 freaking A. Freaking A. Concentrate. God damn it. Oh crap, what the crap? What's going on? Yeah, I was doing it wrong anyway, I had to drain him. Not just use the antibiotic gel on him, I had to drain him. Damn it. Did it wrong. What just no thrombi detected? Treatment is complete. Okay, that was much easier that time. I just need to, I just forgot to drain it. That's what the, that's what the problem was. Good lord. Never gonna be a good doctor at this rate. Nice work, Dr. Style. Sweet. We did it! Oh man. We got a B. You might actually be a pretty good surgeon, Dr. Styles. Huh? You were practically a different person in there, just like yesterday. 
come to think of it, it didn't kind of feel like I was someone else. If you're always that focused in the OR, I wouldn't have to worry so much. So you worry about me? I definitely worry about your patience. Ah, <sighs> oh, poor Styles. Agent, I'd like to review the footage of today's operation. I said agent. <laughs> Angie, not agent. <laughs> of course, sir. I'll bring it to you later. If we're right, then we should be able to tell you from watching the uh, watching the tape. Okay, so that will be the end of this episode, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Trauma Center. Uh, second opinion. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching.